Hi guys, good day, this is me again, Sir Jigs, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's session, we will be learning about the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. Keep watching. Hi guys, good day. This is me again, Sir Jigs, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's session, we will be learning about the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. So by the way, the value of the expression b squared minus 4ac is called the discriminant of the quadratic equation. This value can be used to describe its nature of the roots. It can be 0, positive and perfect square, positive but not perfect square, or negative. So by the way, your discriminant is part of your quadratic formula. So it is actually located inside your radical sign or radical symbol. So at this point, we will be learning about the nature of the roots. So number one, when b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero, then the roots are real numbers and are equal. Example, x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to zero. So the first thing that we need to do is to identify the values of your a, b, and c. In our example, the value of our a is positive 1. Our b is negative 10, and our c is positive 25. So after getting these values, you need to substitute this to the expression b squared minus 4ac, or your discriminant. So we have negative 10 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25. So negative 10 squared, that's 100. Then the product of negative 4, 1, and 25, that's negative 100. So 100 minus 100, that is 0. So therefore, since the value of our discriminant is equal to 0, then we can say that the roots of the quadratic equation x squared minus 10x plus 25 is equal to 0 are real numbers and are equal. So we can actually check this one by determining the roots. I actually used the quadratic um, formula to solve for the roots of this equation. So in my previous video, I already taught you how to solve for the quadratic equation using this method. It's a pure substitution of your a, b, and c to the quadratic formula. So going back on my calculations, I actually separate the positive and negative sign of your quadratic formula to give emphasis of the two roots. My first root is equal to 5, and my second root is equal to 5 as well. So moving forward, if your discriminant is equal to 0, then therefore the nature of the roots are real numbers and are equal. Number 2. When b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 and a perfect square, then the roots are rational numbers but are not equal. So when I say rational numbers, these are numbers that can be expressed into simple fractions. Example, x squared minus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0. So again, the first thing that we need to do here is to identify the values of your a, b, and c. So your a is positive 1, b is negative 3, and c is negative 18. So after getting this value, you need to substitute this one to the formula, which is b squared minus 4ac, or your discriminant. So that would be negative 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 18. Negative 3 squared, that's positive 9. Negative 4 times 1, that's negative 4. Times negative 18, that's positive 72. So the sum of 9 and 72 is 81. And 81 is a perfect square and greater than 0. So that is the reason why the value of our discriminant is greater than 0 and a perfect square. Then we can say that the roots of quadratic equation x squared minus 3x minus 18 is equal to 0 are rational numbers but are not equal. So we can actually check this one by determining the roots of the equation. So actually use the quadratic formula to solve for the roots of this equation. So same drill, after identifying the values of our a, b, and c, I substitute these values to our quadratic formula to solve for the roots of the equation. I just separate the positive and negative sign to give emphasis for the possible two roots. So my first root is positive 6, and my second root is negative 3. So both numbers are rational numbers, but not equal. So moving forward, if the value of your discriminant is greater than 0 and a perfect square, then the nature of your roots are 
rational numbers but not equal. Number three. When b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 but not a perfect square, then the roots are irrational numbers and they're not equal. So when you say irrational numbers, these are numbers opposite to rational numbers. This cannot be expressed into fractions. So famous irrational numbers are your pi as well as the letter e or the Euler's number. Example, x squared plus 8x plus 6 is equal to 0. So the first thing that we need to do is to identify the values of your a, b, and c. So your a here is positive 1, b is positive 8, and your c is positive 6. So after identifying these values, you need to substitute these values to the formula, which is b squared minus 4ac. Then we have 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 6, and then 8 squared that is 64. The product of negative 4 and 1, that's negative 4, times 6, that's negative 24. So the difference of 64 and 24, that is 40. So since the value of our discriminant is greater than 0, but not a perfect square, then we can say that the roots of quadratic equation x squared plus 8x plus 6 is equal to 0 are irrational numbers and are not equal. So let's check by solving for the roots of this quadratic equation. So again, I actually used the quadratic formula to solve for the roots of the equation. So after identifying the values of your a, b, and c, I substitute these values to the quadratic formula. I separate the positive and negative sign to give emphasis for the possible two roots. So our first root is negative 4 plus square root of 10. And our second root is negative 4 minus square root of 10. So both are irrational numbers and are not equal. So by the way, just a quick heads up, when it comes to calculating the roots of a quadratic equation, if there is a need for us to simplify the radicals, then we need to do so. so 4. When b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then the equation has no real roots. Example, x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. So the first thing that we need to do here is to identify the values of your a, b, and c. Your a is positive 1, b is positive 2, and your c is positive 3. So after identifying these values, you need to substitute this to our formula, which is b squared minus 4ac, or our discriminant. So that would be 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 3. So 2 squared, that is 4, and the product of negative 4 times 1, that's negative 4, times 3, that's negative 12. So 4 minus 12, that is negative 8. So since the value of our discriminant is less than 0, then we can say that the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 are not real numbers. We can actually check this one by determining the roots. So again, I actually used the quadratic formula to solve for the roots of the quadratic equation. So after identifying the values of our a, b, and c, I substitute that one to our quadratic formula. So if you notice, same drill, our positive and negative sign are separated to give emphasis for the possible two roots. So after calculation, our first root is negative 1 plus square root of 2i. And our second root is negative 1 minus square root of 2i. So if you've noticed, both roots are imaginary because of the presence of i. So there is a reason why if your discriminant is less than 0, automatically your roots are imaginary. Meaning, no real roots. So just a quick recap of what we have learned today. So... By knowing the value of our discriminant, we will know the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. So when b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, then the roots are real numbers and are equal. If your discriminant is greater than 0 and a perfect square, then the roots are rational numbers but are not equal. And if your discriminant is greater than 0 but not a perfect square, then the roots are irrational numbers and are not equal. And when b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, then the equation has no real root. So hopefully you learned something for today. So if you like this video, you can actually subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button and click the notification bell for more updates. So this is me again, Sir Jigs. Have a great day.